Hi friends, hope you are doing good. See very recently your preliminary examination result was out. And my heartiest congratulation for the candidates and aspirants who have qualified this examination and who will be shortly writing your mains examination. Right, I wish you all the best. But the question is about the others. The concern is about those aspirants who have put in so much of effort but finally could not clear this preliminary examination. My dear friends, I understand the uncertainty associated with the examination is also high. Similarly, the prevailing condition, right, the pandemic condition is also adding salt to the existing wound. Whatever be the case, right? Uh, even the most sincere candidate may be because of some of the reasons would have not performed better in preliminary examination. See, and UPSC also understands this process. UPSC has the strongest belief that the sincere candidate and the most deserving candidate may not always succeed in the first attempt itself. Somewhere it takes two or three attempts. It depends on the candidates, right? And of course, the time should also favor you, right? Now, my dear friends, in this regard, Right, normally what happens, if you would have qualified this preliminary examination, things are very good, right, it goes according to your plan, right. But sometimes what happens if you do not qualify this examination called as prelims, all of a sudden, right, you encounter a sudden break in your preparation. There arises one million dollar question, what next? What should I do? It means this is my dream. The post which is almost offered by civil service examination is my cup of tea, right? All of a sudden, right, I don't clear this preliminary examination and the next examination is only at the last of June 2021. If that is the case, it's too long a time. The gap is so huge. Sometimes if not utilized property properly, again, a one year I may waste it. Now comes the question, my friend, how to utilize this gap provided according to you if you believe that you are a, a serious candidate. See the decision of being serious and non-serious candidate decision lies in your own hand. Let others not decide that who you are. You yourself come to a conclusion and decide right who you are and where you stand. My dear friends, if this is the question, then I understand that uh, this six to seven months has to be planned very, very effectively. Not only you should prepare for your preliminary examination, you should also prepare for your mains examination. So two years before we thought, uh, why don't we have one uh, bridging course, right, to fill this gap, right, between the preliminary result and the day, for example, when uh, the serious preparation may start. I'm telling you, the serious preparation for preliminary examination may start only when the notification comes, correct? So somewhere I have a significant gap between the result day, day of the result and the day of notification, my friend. This gap has to be utilized effectively. Answer for this question we brought in the name of steeplechase program. Right, steeplechase program is no magic. It's an ordinary course, but a course which will engage you almost every day, my friend. The objective of this course is very simple. Right, I would say primarily it is two. Number one, making you get exposed to the syllabus, every nook and corner of the syllabus, right, making you to understand the nuances of the words which is given in the syllabus, right, both prelims and mains. Mains, it is not easily doable, right, sorry, excuse me for prelims, but mains, it is very easily doable, right. So number one, as I said, my dear friends, the main objective is to expose you to the syllabus. And number two, which is very important, ultimately important for a serious candidate to clear the examination, sit and study. This program will give you an avenue of almost utilizing your time efficiently, at least during this, the so-called, right, the lean days of your preparation. Now, how do I say that uh, this program will make you to sit and study is very simple. See, uh, normally any test series, even uh, our own test series, when we used to have, uh, say for example, during the regular batches, right, every week we will be having one test, right. 
So normally what exactly is the human mindset and practice says, say for example assuming that the test is on Friday, right, so entire week right, we will be almost engaging in some other activities and once this Wednesday comes in you will start thinking day after tomorrow is my test. So Wednesday you will start preparing and Thursday only one day is there entire day you will be stretching beyond your capacity and Friday's test you will be preparing for. So somewhere I understand right if at all if the test is on Friday my dear friends potentially Saturday, Sunday, Monday right sometimes Tuesday also we waste it. Instead we thought right why not we have two tests in one week without burdening you simple say for example assume I have a test on Friday right which carries almost 100 questions if it is preliminary examination why don't we divide this test into two parts so it means each part will be having 50 questions if the questions are divided the syllabus is also right mathematically let us divide it so instead of having one test on Friday we thought that we will be having two tests in a given week assume that we are having test on every Tuesday and Friday so we have tested and the result said a candidate who normally studies three days in a week may slightly increase to five days in a week so somewhere I understand my friend without increasing the burden and load right this test series program will give you an avenue of almost say for example distributing your effort throughout the preparation. So I have just given you a clue this steeplechase is all about a test series program my friend integrated test series program coupled with your current affairs right and of course the so called the techniques and the sharpshooter classes also will be part of it. So what we have done say for example this program we will be starting on November 3rd with an orientation right I will just give you the complete roadmap of this program but November 3rd as such this program do not start formally but I am just giving you just an orientation right once the Diwali gets over maybe positively we will be having your first test on November 16th or November 17th right we have almost modeled in such a way that you will be going in a linear fashion how exactly you will be almost starting with one subject my dear friend see we have advantage we have disadvantage both we agree on it but somewhere a point of commonality should come in okay this is what the point of commonality we thought we have tested so first we will be almost starting with one subject assume we are just starting with polity right the main aspect of polity will be covering once we cover the polity aspect with related to mains immediately polity prelims will happen. So what happens then and there itself you will be almost revising the subject multiple number of times right. Uh, the content what exactly you will be studying is more or less will be similar but the orientation will be different. So somewhere we will be just going by subject by subject my dear friend. So assuming that we are starting this test the very first is test somewhere in the month of November 16th or 17th right we will take this exercise till March middle my dear friends approximately. So in this meanwhile what exactly we will be doing almost all the syllabus demands right of general studies 1, general studies 2, general studies 3 of your mains examination along with all areas of your preliminary examination we will be combining together and we will be dividing it as different test. So primarily speaking steeplechase is that test series program which will almost make you engaged till the month of March. So once March comes in the preliminary fever comes in so automatically you will become very serious and studious in your preliminary examination preparation. So my dear friends I have just given you a hint that we will just start with this steeplechase program and uh, as I said if you strongly believe that you are a very serious candidate right this program will definitely benefit you and 2019 students right current means the last year's batch right this program is absolutely free for you. You can take this program both in online as well as offline. So given the situation we will start this program online right immediately online. So once uh, it is thrown open 
if government says institute can start working right you will be given a choice right either you can come for offline or you can go for online see only things are shuttling between online and offline somewhere administrative constraint can be there but otherwise right take a decision right if you want to continue in offline you can continue if you want to continue in online also you can continue that should not be a problem right my dear friends as i said november 3rd formally i'll give you an orientation regarding this program i'll give you the complete schedule for this program which will be running till the middle of march so this program may cover gs 1 2 3 of mains examination your complete general studies part of your preliminary examination and the current affairs my friend so current affairs will be a continuous process right and once this steeple chase program is over automatically you will be inducted in the preliminary test series that will continue when steeple chase ends so somewhere till next june somewhere will be almost occupying ourselves my dear friends i know the result what steeple chase has produced if that is the case i strongly without any doubt i would always say that this program the return on investment is very very high right if you are taking this program very seriously i understand my dear friends i mean somewhere i have an understanding and belief that this program is highly rewarding right so rest we'll have an orientation we'll see then right on positively we'll be almost meeting again on november 3rd once the program starts with an orientation then we'll just see that how exactly the reg registration for this program can be done and there has to be a separate registration for this program maybe right registration shall be in online as of now there is no offline contact let everything let it be in online my dear friends so i wish you all success and all the best till we meet next time right thank you and god bless